Welcome back everybody. What you're looking at here is the pattern that I'm going to do for this video. It is from Double Stitch Twins, but it is off of redheart.com. This is called the Casual Beret. And in this picture, it is uh, used with pink and white. So it's very um, soft and feminine looking. And it's really something that um, is trendy today. I know I have uh, four or three daughters and uh, they love these berets. Um, and of course, where they go to school at, there's lots of young ladies there and I've done several different types of berets and they absolutely love them. And who knows, maybe I'll end up wearing this one. So I'm gonna kind of make this one for myself. I'm gonna be using, this here is, I don't know if you can see it, it's black but it has just a tiny hint of like uh, white or silver just enough to make it um, not solid so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to put a stripe where you see your white stripe here I'm going to put a stripe of this uh, fall looking multicolored yarn okay so um, we're going to work this pattern and we're going to work it together and on this pattern it is classified as easy so for beginners I did want to do that on purpose so that um, those of you who are starting out can uh, make you a very simple but nice project um, the hat circumference at the lower edge measuring here is 23 inches and you will need two balls of whatever color you choose but you won't be using the full ball um, unless you choose to make it uh, straight one color and then you're going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook. You'll need a yarn needle and a stitch marker. Okay, so um, according to our instructions here, you're going to be using um, chains, double crochets, half double crochets, uh, single crochets, and triple uh, crochets. So just a wide variety here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the pattern out of the way. Well, the first thing we're going to do is read the beginning part of our pattern. That way we can go over it together. All right, now usually at the top of a pattern, it tells you your gauge size um, and how many stitches, you know, you need to make to make your gauge and your hook or your crochet stitches um, the sizes they need to be. So when you start off with the, the hat, you're going to use A, which is whatever color that you choose to do the main color is your hat. You're going to chain 70 stitches and then you're going to slip stitch into the first chain to join now and then at that point you're going to place your stitch marker uh, in that chain that you're going to slip into that that's going to be representing the beginning of your rows now you can also use a contrasting piece of yarn that's you know maybe about uh, two inches two three inches long you can use it as a stitch marker if you don't have any you can use a bobby pin, um, just anything. But you do want to keep count of your rows. Okay, so I'm going to put that out of the way. And again, I'm going to use, sorry about that. I'm going to use my black here for my main color. So slide my stuff out of the way here. So what you're going to end up doing to start off with here is you're going to chain 70. Okay? So let's make our slip knot. Okay. So you're just going to chain 70. Okay, and as you see, I'm just going to speed up and go a little faster with just my basic uh, chains. And if you need to at any time, you can stop your video and do your chains. Okay, 
So you're just going to keep going until you get to 70 chains. And I'll be back once I get there with the um, next video. So stay tuned for the second video.